Hey there everybody, hope everybody's doing well. So back with you with a little quick little devotional here, a little on your soul food Sunday. And this is a, actually a Easter message and you're thinking, well, Easter's already gone. Well, it's fixed to be Easter for me when I'm doing this, but I'm kind of in the notion and thought of why just remember one day of the year on one Sunday and not all of the other 51 Sundays and really think of it daily. So, so it's not just one day. It should be kind of thinking about it every day. So that's kind of my thought and stuff that I've always had about it. And growing up as a kid, you kind of had that one day thinking mentality, but then as you grow and mature, you're kind of thinking, well, I need to really think about and honor that sacrifice always. So, but this gonna reading is going to be coming out of Matthew chapter 27, verses 16 through 26, and I'll put it up on the screen and stuff for y'all too to see. So, oh, turn my phone off. There we go. <laughs> So, Matthew 27, verses 16 through 26 says, At that time, they had a well-known prisoner whose name was Jesus, Barabbas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, Which one do you want me to release to you, Jesus Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? For he knew it was out of self-interest that they handed Jesus over to him. When Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, his wife sent him a message, don't have anything to do with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. Which of these two do you want me to release to you? asked the governor. Barabbas, they answered. What shall I do then with this Jesus who is called the Messiah? Pilate asked. The crowd answered, Crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, Crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but that instead an uproar was starting. He took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of that man's of this man's blood, he said. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, His blood is on us and our children. Then he released Barabbas to them, but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Whew. <laughs> that verse 25 is the one, oh man, it, I, I'm just like, oh, do you not know? But they obviously they didn't. And Lord, when then they did later on and repented and turned back. But his blood is on us and our children. And then you're taking that and he's like, well, we're taking that responsibility and we're putting it on our kids too. They they'll have it as well but it's crazy to think in that his blood was truly on them and their children he offered it for them he took that sacrifice for them and it can cover your sins and offer you the salvation so it was <laughs> it was on them that's, that's uh, wild to think about, but Barabbas, you can kind of read in the other Gospels as well about he, he was a notorious criminal and also murderer, I think, as well. But kind of think, why in the world let him go and take a guilty man and you're putting an innocent man in his place? But you read back and you think about it. And I think about it on myself. Hey, I, I'm Barabbas. You're Barabbas. We're all Barabbas. We're all the guilty. But he's the innocent that took our place. But he's the only one that could take our place. So, 
Let's think about it. something to think about. I am Barabbas. I am the guilty one. But thank God for Jesus. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the listen. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. If you want to, if you haven't already, and when you do, you're welcome on into the Head to Tail family. We love you and welcome on in. So, thank y'all again. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.